Bill Haney, the outspoken father of the WBC lightweight champion, has made a bombshell claim against Floyd Mayweather. In an interview, Bill alleged that legendary boxer Floyd Mayweather secretly possesses sparring footage that shows Devin getting the better of Mayweather in the ring. According to Haney Sr., this sparring session was the moment Mayweather realized he could no longer compete at the highest levels of the sport against real fighters. He says Mayweather seeing Devin's skills was a mirror reflecting that it was time to pass the metaphorical torch to the new generation, the Devin Haney era, if you will. Bill didn't hold back, stating, quote, Floyd, he should have shown the sparring video of him and Devin. Now why is he showing all the videos? Show the sparring. And it was six, zero. It wasn't close. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror when I told him he finally decided that he could no longer be in the boxing with no real fighters. Those are certainly fighting words from the Haney camp. But Mayweather wasn't going to take that lying down. The boxing legend fired back, dismissing Haney's claims while reasserting his status as the face of the sport. In his trademark confident style, Mayweather stated, Even if I don't want to be, they still talk about me every time a fight comes on, so really I'm still the face of boxing. That comes with the territory. But the intrigue didn't stop there. In a shocking twist, Ryan Garcia inserted himself into the drama by alleging he had seen supposed footage of Mayweather's prodigy, Gervonta Tank Davis, dominating Haney in a sparring session. Have a look at this leaked footage. Speaking to Ariel Helwani, a fired-up Garcia claimed, I've personally seen the video of Devin Haney knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I've seen it with my own eyes. With conflicting sparring rumors swirling, this has quickly become a classic he said, he said situation. Who's telling the truth here? The only people who know are those who were in the gym that fateful day. If you thought the sparring leaks were spicy, just wait until you hear what went down at the Haney versus Garcia New York City press conference to launch their promotion tour. From the moment they took the stage, the hostilities between the two fighters were palpable. The war of words was taken to new levels with brutal trash talk and even accusations of drunkenness being slung. It was Devin Haney who provided the most explosive claim of the event directly accusing his rival Ryan Garcia of being intoxicated during the presser. He didn't mince words either, saying, quote, You've been drinking, I can smell it on your breath. A furious Garcia vehemently denied the charge at first, before doubling down in trademark fiery fashion with, I'll drink a beer and beat the bleep out of you. Yikes. This press conference had no shortage of fireworks. The tension reached a boiling point when the two fighters had to be separated during an intense face-off after failing to pose for the customary photos. In the aftermath, Haney doubled down on his accusations to reporters, stating, Ryan was at the bleep press conference drunk as a skunk. Hopefully he gets it together before April 20th, and I'm going to have him punch drunk on that day. He didn't stop there either, taking more scorching shots at Garcia. Ryan is an alcoholic. He drinks a lot. We don't know which Ryan we're going to get. He might be off a bottle of Casamigos when you're talking to him. Wow. You certainly can't accuse Haney of pulling any punches with his verbal jabs towards his upcoming opponent. As for Garcia's response, well, he opted for a more composed and calculated approach when addressing reporters. The California native simply stated, I just know I'm that much better than him. There's so many things I can say, I'd just rather do it. While keeping his cool outwardly, you can be sure those comments from Haney struck a nerve with the notoriously fiery Garcia. But the intrigue surrounding this fight isn't just limited to Haney and Garcia themselves. Incredibly, boxing's global icon Floyd Mayweather has even gotten caught up in the drama. 
Speculation is rife that Money Mayweather may be secretly working with Ryan Garcia to prepare him for the Haney fight. The smoke was stoked when Garcia started emulating Mayweather's trademark shoulder roll defensive technique. Well, the Haney camp hasn't taken too kindly to rumors of Mayweather's involvement. Bill Haney went as far as directly calling out the legendary boxer, saying, I know I'm going everywhere. I know it's lit. Everybody is in it, including you, Floyd. He's helping, but against Devin, the shoulder roll ain't gonna work. In case that message wasn't clear enough, Bill doubled down at the kickoff press conference with an emphatic declaration. Bernard, Floyd, Ryan, all y'all get together. Ain't none of that bleep going to help on 420ths. It's lit and everybody's in it, and y'all going to pay. Dropping a famous Jay-Z line to hammer home his point, you can't accuse Bill Haney of lacking confidence in his son's abilities against the potential Mayweather-advised Garcia. Speaking of the kickoff presser, Haney Sr. had one more bold message for Ryan, encouraging him to stay down if the pressure gets too much. He stated, This is a message to Ryan. If it gets too tough, take a knee. It's only 30 minutes, 36 minutes of beating. Of course, it's easier for me to say because you are the one that got to take it. Ouch. That's about as dismissive as trash talk gets before a big fight. The Haney camp is trying to get inside Garcia's head by any means necessary ahead of this legacy-defining clash. But just how did this red-hot rivalry reach such explosive, intensely personal levels of animosity? Well, the resentment between Haney and Garcia can be traced back years to their amateur days. As Devin Haney revealed, we've seen him quit. We've seen you take a knee. And on April 20th, it won't be no different when it gets hot, you quit. He's referring to the two sharing a competitive history dating back to their teenage years when they split six bouts evenly at three, three in the unpaid ranks. However, Haney believes that while he continued evolving into an elite professional talent, Garcia's skills have stagnated. He stated frankly, Ryan's always been a good fighter since we were kids, but over time I've grown past him and gotten a lot better and Ryan stayed the same. If those comments alone weren't enough to fan the flames, Haney also alleges that part of the bad blood stems from personal comments made by Garcia about his Muslim faith, saying, he mentioned, he said some stuff about my religion he cannot come back from. He knows what he said and who he said it to. It got back to me, so I got to make an example out of him. This is bigger than me. This is for all the Muslims around the world. Garcia has vehemently denied the allegations, claiming he simply sent Haney a Merry Christmas message and stating, I would never do that. I can show you the DMs. He's an idiot. Whether that particular controversy has been accurately reported or not, one thing is clear. The Haney versus Garcia rivalry extends far beyond just two elite fighters vying for supremacy. This is deeply personal stuff that's been years in the making. There you have it, folks, the full, uncensored story behind the Haney vs. Garcia mega fight and the scorching levels of heat that have turned their rivalry into a must-see event, from sparring leaks causing a Mayweather uproar to chaotic press conferences with outrageous allegations of drunkenness to potential involvement from boxing's biggest icon to the deep-seated roots of their venom dating back to the amateur days. This one has all the ingredients to explode into a dramatic, memorable classic when the two finally share that ring on April 20th. Grudge matches with this electricity don't come along too often in boxing nowadays, so make sure you don't miss out when Haney and Garcia finally get the chance to settle their bitter score once and for all. Trust me, after all this buildup, the fight itself is going to be pure fireworks. So what did you think about all the drama and controversy? Who do you think is going to emerge victorious in this heated rivalry? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this detailed breakdown, smash that like button, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future fight breakdowns and news updates. I'll catch you next time for more hot boxing content.